about the scapula, we actually know that there's no direct bony connection between the scapula and the rib cage, apart from the AC joint at the top. So technically speaking, there's a lot of potential for mobility, especially during arm movements. The mid-back muscles attach itself in and around the scapula, therefore it produces a good movement pattern when the upper limb is moving. To produce harmonious movement of the scapula and the upper limb, the mid-back muscles prevent the scapula from elevating too much, from nipping in too much, and being pulled down in too far into the ribs. Also, the winging of the scapula is prevented. So they all work together to draw the scapula in a nice position where it's nice and flat along the rib cage as the upper limb moves. trapezius, which is a large triangular muscle of the, the neck and the scapula. It originates from the occipital protuberance of the skull and comes all the way down to the 12th thoracic vertebra. It inserts itself into the lateral part of the clavicle, the acromion of the scapula and the spine. The actions of this is five different things. Firstly, the upper fibres elevate the scapula. The middle fibres actually draw the scapula in towards the spine, retraction. The lower fibres actually help draw the scapula down. Together, the upper fibres extend the skull. Unilaterally, they help flex the skull laterally. The fifth and the last action of the trapezius is actually to stabilise the scapula during upper limb movements. Serratus anterior is a large sheet of muscle which wraps around the thorax. It originates from the first nine ribs, ribs one to nine. It wraps around and attaches into the costal surface of the scapula. The action of the serratus anterior is to actually protract the scapula and also with the help of the trapezius lower fibers it helps to pull the scapula down. 